Oh, everyone, listen, we have a velocity banking plan just for you. All right. It's going to be step by step. I'm going to be going over things again and again. So and repetition is the mother of all learning. So let's go ahead and just dive right into it. OK, step one. What is step one? You got to calculate. You got to calculate your income, your expenses and your loans. Absolutely. You got to calculate your income, your expenses and your loans. The reason why this is so crucial is because you're going to get your cash flow from these elements. Okay. In particular, you're going to get your cash flow from the income and from the expenses. Now, don't worry if your expenses okay, exceeds your income. That doesn't really matter at all. What we want you to get into the habit of is calculating the income minus the expenses. And you will always do the in that order. Okay. Income minus the expenses. And from there, you'll get your cash flow. All right. Now, we're going to come back to the loans a little later simply because the loans are going to be on a totally different calculation. We wanted to separate it from this calculation. All right. So first and foremost, calculate, get everything together, right? Get your banking statements, get your credit statements, get everything you need to calculate your income and your expenses. Then you will subtract your income minus your expenses. When you subtract your income and your expenses, okay, that's going to equal your cash flow. And that is what's going to pay your credit lines down. All right. So listen, gather it up right now and let's go ahead and come back and we will get you on to step two, which is coming up next. All right. So step two, we're in step two. And what we need to do in step two, we have to have this focus. Okay. Step one was calculate in this one, in this step, step two, we're going to talk to the bank about line of credit. Okay. Whether that's a credit card or whether that's the bank line of credit, it can even be a business line of credit. It can even be an equity line of credit, a home equity line of credit, or a business home equity line of credit. We are going to talk to the bank about a line of of credit. This is so crucial simply because we're going to use our lines of credit to pay for our expenses. So I know a lot of you are have gotten used to using your debit cards. You've gotten used to maybe writing checks, right? We're going to use now our line of credit. Okay. And this is because our lines of credit are going to be used as that leverage. Remember what we want to do here. We want to use leverage as currency, not cash. Okay. We're using leverage as currency and cash as debt pay down. Okay. So we're going to use the line of credit to pay the expenses. Don't try to set your direct deposit and have it connected all the way to your credit card or your line of credit. It's not going to work. Okay, and people have tried that. The banker has said, no, that's, that's not how it's done. Uh, it must be a checking account that you set your direct deposit in. And then from your checking account, what are you going to do? That's right. You're going to put that money from your checking account, your income that landed inside of your checking account. You're going to transfer it, not pay, transfer it to your line of credit or your credit card. All right. And that's how you're going to utilize your credit card and your lines of credit. And just make sure for those that have credit cards, ensure your credit card is connected to your checking account. That way you don't have to worry about if someone says or, or an establishment says, oh, no, we don't take credit card. Just use your debit card. It's connected right to your credit card. So use your debit card that's connected to your credit card and it will still utilize your credit card. All right. Now, remember the balance in your checking account has to be zero in order 
for that to happen. So just to let you know, we need on step two to talk to the bank about our lines of credit. And I know that you're wondering, what in the world is LOC? LOC is lines of credit, or if you want, lenders over cash. All right, listen, I know you got questions. I'm gonna answer them most likely in the next step. So the next step is gonna be step three, which is coming up next. Thank you.